Welcome, welcome everyone. It's really wonderful to have you joining this experience. And for those of you that don't know me, I'm Tara, the founder of Empathpreneurs. So let's just take a minute to arrive, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just taking a moment to arrive into this space together as we begin these five days together. And maybe just closing your eyes if that feels good, perhaps placing a hand on your heart or your belly. And just taking a moment to breathe. Just arriving in your body. And just letting anything that's happened in your day so far go to one side. All your to-dos, the things you think you have to be doing right now. Letting it go for this time that we have together. And just breathing. Honouring you for showing up. Honouring you for being here. And just holding space for whatever wants to come up for you during these next few days. And just deeply breathe into your body. Softening. arriving and just taking as long as you need and then when you feel ready you can bring yourself back into this space and we'll begin welcome back Hello everyone, welcome. It's a real honour to have you joining for this experience and I'm really looking forward to supporting you to connect with five different areas to create a business that nourishes you. And before we begin, I'm just going to share a little bit about myself, especially for you, those of you that don't know me, just to share a little about why I'm so passionate about this work and supporting others, you know, in these areas particularly. So I first began working in and with businesses, you know, over two decades ago. Now I started working in PR and marketing with global corporations and brands in the travel and tourism industry. And then I started working in business operations, HR, new business development, because I really wanted to learn what it was like to run a business, to see how it worked from behind the scenes. Because I, I think I've known since of the age of nine that I wanted my own business one day. You know, as a child, I was doing all these entrepreneurial little ventures. I'd sell things on the side of the road. I'd, I'd find things and sell them, make things and sell them. I just knew that I wanted my own business one day. And, you know, and as, on top of that, I've also been a virtual assistant, an events manager, manager. I've worked in food events, catering, and I trained as a holistic health coach. So, you know, I've got lots of varied business experience. And in that time, you know, I found myself hustling a lot, pushing, ignoring my body and working in an extremely masculine way, especially when I worked in an office. You know, that way of working really, it still presides. It's still the norm to do that as much as, you know, many of us are moving to a more feminine way of working. But it's still massively the norm to work in a really, you know, pushing, having to do things all the time, productive way. So, you know, when I did start my own business, which was now about seven years ago, I had a lot of experience from all the different things I'd tried and done. So I knew what to do to, you know, to market myself, to, to get myself out there. And, you know, I, I did try and do a lot of things in the beginning, but I was always very, I always felt very alone. And I felt that I needed to be doing things all the time or, you know, just to be productive and I, I often did a lot of that with, you know, no results. And I just got very overwhelmed by it all. And so, you know, over time I started to feel, you know, there has to be another way. This constant pushing as a, you know, especially as a solopreneur is surely not the only way. This is not why I started my business to do all this and to not get any results or to feel like I wasn't, you know, wasn't, was working harder and more than I even was when I was doing another job. So it was just, you know, it was very overwhelming. And I really wanted to 
have a business that felt good to me, that started to honor my needs, that really worked with um, my body, my cyclical needs, you know, with the, my menstrual cycle, with the seasons in the year. And above all that, you know, a way that really honors others and this planet, which is something I am deeply passionate about and is, you know, integral to my work and becoming more and more so the more I step into what I'm doing. And also a way that, you know, feels supported, a way that's magical and divine. I've always felt that there's this magic and, you know, you know, which a lot of us do include in our work, but this magic available to us to support us in our businesses, you know, even if you are a solopreneur. But there's also got to be practical grounded action. And I know that we need both and absolutely support having both. But you know, aligned grounded action, not just doing things for the sake of doing them. And I deeply believe that, you know, empath entrepreneurs are here to help bring in this way, this way that feels good to us, that supports others, that is magical. You know, so many of us have experienced health issues, uh, mental, physical and emotional from the current way of working. And it's not just obviously empath entrepreneurs, it's a, it's a whole working culture. And, you know, this has led to burnout, anxiety, and not, you know, so many health issues because of, we think this is the way we're supposed to be doing it. And actually, you know, this way of working, you know, the, the current way of working came from the industrial era when it was about, you know, clocking in and clocking out and doing the hours. And actually, it doesn't work for the human body. And it's not, it's not how we are meant to live and be. And, you know, when we were in that way, we often have to push through, take painkillers, just get the job done, show up. And it's just such a conflict inside. And so, you know, I feel we need permission, actually, to not do it that way. And we have to be the leaders in this way. We have to be the ones to, to stop doing it in that way and start to unlearn all that and start to create our own way, create this new way, really stop slow down, listen and rest because that's when we deeply tune into our magical intuitive side, our bodies guide us and you know more and more magic begins to unfold and this way you know it does feel very supported, it really honours the feminine which is you know all about having more space and I know that that can be hard but when you start to really listen and allow that, it is deeply powerful. You know, we can start to co-create with the soul of our business, which is what we'll be going into on Tuesday. And we can really listen and honor the wisdom in our bodies. So, you know, during these five sessions, I'm gonna be sharing some of the ways that I do this, just to sort of, you know, support you to go deeper. Maybe there's certain areas that might call you more than others. They are all integral in my experience. They are, you know, different ways to start to incorporate more of this feminine side, the honoring the body, the wisdom in that, and as well as co-creation. And I'm also gonna be sharing a way to go deeper if you'd like community and support moving forward. But either way, I hope these five sessions will support you and um, help you to feel more connected, more grounded and more aligned with what you're here to do and feel, you know, and feel in your body doing it, because that's what my work is all about. Ultimately, it's about inviting you deeper into your body to really show up and share in ways that are aligned with you. So we're going to begin day one with a visualization to deeply ground into our earth mother to support you to feel safe and supported and you know as a sensitive soul you might have had to shut off parts of yourself to work in the you know the normal way or maybe you just felt like it wasn't safe to be fully you so you know as others don't get you or aren't like you Maybe you have lots of different ideas, but you don't ever fully ground them, starting things and not finishing them. Perhaps you do finish things, but you don't feel safe to bring them into the world, especially not in the way you're being called into. You know, maybe it's something else. But connecting to being in the body and deeply grounding on earth is, is key to all of this in, in my experience. 
And because, you know, you have to be in your body on earth to fully show up as you. You need to be grounded and rooted and feel safe, held and supported. You know, really allowing your roots to go down, down, because, you know, when then you have this strong foundation which can hold you. And then you can grow up high from there. You can do what you're here to do as you've got this anchoring, this safety support holding you energetically as well. So in this visualization, we are going to deeply ground into Mother Earth to create a space of stability for you to grow from. And we're going to be connecting to your Earth Star Chakra, which is a few inches beneath your feet in the ground, just in case you've never connected to it before. So that's kind of where it is uh, visually. But I'll be guiding you through that as well. So I'm going to invite you to get comfortable and then the visualization is going to begin. I invite you to get comfortable. Closing your eyes or lowering your gaze, whichever feels better to you. And just finding a comfortable position, perhaps with your feet on the ground, connected to Mother Earth. Drawing your attention away from the external world. Bringing it inside of you. And starting to bring breath into your lower belly. Allowing it to soften. Feeling your hips relaxing. Letting your shoulders drop. Relaxing your jaw. Noticing any areas of tightness and just bringing breath to them. And breathing being present in your body. And now from up above, imagine a copper light coming down, down through the crown of your head, down past your third eye, into your throat, and down into your heart space. Your solar plexus. And your sacral. And your root chakra. And then down your legs. into your feet and down into your earth star chakra a few inches below your feet in the ground and just breathe in this copper light and feel it connecting you to your anchor point your earth star Feel it holding you here on earth. And just breathe into it. Bringing your energy down. Allowing it to anchor you. And just breathing into your earth star. Really noticing it. Bringing your attention to it. 
just observing. How does your earth star chakra feel to you? What do you notice? What do you feel? And now I invite you to imagine a glowing copper light beginning to form at your earth star. inviting it with each breath to get bigger and brighter. Allowing that light to anchor you even more. Holding you here on earth. Your body a bridge up to the heavens. I'm just noticing how big and bright you can allow that copper light to get. Allowing it to cleanse and clear. Melting anything you no longer need. Anything that might be stopping you from feeling safe and held. just breathing into this light. And now I invite you to take yourself into your Earth Star Chakra allowing your energy to fully land in this portal, feeling yourself at one with Mother Earth. Connected to this safety, this holding, this portal. And as you arrive in this space, I invite you to ask these questions, allowing whatever wants to come, and if nothing does, that's fine too. What do I need to feel more grounded? What do I need to feel safe and secure here on earth?
What do I need to feel more supported? And now just inviting you to ask your Earth Star Chakra if it has any more messages for you, allowing yourself to receive its guidance. And now from within this portal, allowing that energy to spread outwards, downwards, like roots making their way into the earth, going deeper and deeper, spreading, rooting, allowing them to create a deep anchor of holding and support for you. And just allowing them to go as far as feels good. Allowing yourself to root even more deeply here on earth. And just breathe into this grounding and holding, allowing your roots to anchor you here. And as your roots hold you, know that you can also draw up whatever you need, knowing that this is a channel for you to tap into at any time, especially when you need a little extra energy, grounding, nourishment, compassion, and love, especially from our beautiful Earth Mother. And so just inviting you to draw up whatever you need right now, trusting that you are receiving it through your roots. Thank you.
And now just taking a few more breaths in this space, knowing you can connect to it at any time. And just beginning to draw the energy back up into your body, beginning to feel yourself back in your body and becoming aware of yourself in the physical, aware of the room that you're in, the temperature of the air, beginning to bring in some gentle movement and stretches. And taking as long as you need. When you're ready, you can gently open your eyes and bring yourself back into this space. And just taking a moment to journal on any messages, insights or guidance that you might have received. Welcome back everyone, welcome back. So I'd love to know how you found the visualization, you know, what you experienced, you know, everything is perfect. I, you know, sometimes it's hard to connect to ground because it might be, you know, hard, it might be new, it might be something that doesn't feel good yet, and that's okay. Just deeply honoring you wherever you're at, whatever you experienced, felt, etc. Please do come share in the Facebook group, which is linked below. I'd love to know, I'd love to hear. And um, yeah, just honoring you for being here, thanking you. And I will see you tomorrow for day two on co-creating with the soul of your business. So thank you again and sending much love to you all. Bye.